Fannie Mae recently announced that it is tightening its underwriting guidelines for both second homes and investment properties in response to an amended agreement with the Treasury, which imposed a new restriction that no more than 7% of new loans acquired can be secured by these types of non-owner occupied properties. Essentially, the Treasury has grown concerned that too many loans being sold to Fannie Mae are for second homes or investments, and the percentage of loans being secured by a primary residence isn't quite as high as they'd like to see. Now, since these types of loans are statistically more likely to go into default, this cap should accomplish the Treasury's goal of reducing the overall risk of Fannie's portfolio of mortgage-backed securities. However, this will represent a pretty significant reduction in the volume of mortgages being written for non-owner-occupied properties. And in order to ensure that this limit isn't exceeded, lenders are having to worsen their pricing on these types of loans, which translates to higher interest rates and or higher discount points charged to these types of buyers. So what does this mean for you? If you were planning on purchasing either a second home or an investment property this year with the use of conventional mortgage financing, well, it just got a little more expensive to do that. This may push some investors out of the market, which could lead to a little less competition for homes in certain locations or price ranges. No one can predict exactly how this will impact the overall market. And at the end of the day, this may only decrease demand by a few percentage points, which likely wouldn't do much to cause any type of noticeable change to month supply of inventory, days on market, or the trajectory of sales prices. If you have any questions about how any of this impacts your plans to buy or sell, then call or email us today and we'll connect you with one of our top agents. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next week.